guys, this is me Shanti and you're watching me on my YouTube channel, The Layery. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I have on right now and I have come up with this romantic look that you can actually rock on Valentine's Day that's just around the corner. I've actually used in today's video the Rimmel London's Magnifies Blush Edition 12 Shadow Pan Palette and this is actually available in Watson's and this is priced at $26.90 but when I got mine, I believe there was a discount that was going on and I've actually got this pen why do I keep calling it pen? I actually got this eyeshadow palette for $23.90 and you will actually get to see in the video where I demonstrate how I use all of the, not all, some of the eyeshadow uh, eyeshadows. My god, can I speak today? If you're watching me and this video for the first time, thank you for taking time out of your day to click on this video and watch this tutorial. While you're here at it, please do consider subscribing to join my small but growing internet family here and yeah if you want to know how to get this look then please keep on watching so if i have not mentioned already is that i have my foundation powders concealers bronzing contour highlighting all of that down moving on to the eyes i'm going to be priming my eyelids of course i'm going to be using my soft ochre by mac which is a paint pot like this I'm just going to be using my clean fingers, dipping my ring finger in and taking a little bit of the product. So now that we have our eyelid primer down, I'm going to be taking a little bit of loose powder and set it down. And we can start off with the eyeshadow application. So I'm going to be picking up this very neutral shade that looks like this from this palette. This is a matte shade. I'm going to be using the Bloom Kits R36 Smooth Blender and I'm going to be taking a little bit of the product all over my crease area. Using the same Smooth Blender R36 Bloom Kits brush, I'm going to be taking this color over here which is also a matte shade right here and I'm, this time I'm going to be going deeper into my crease. Again using the same brush, I'm going to be taking this mauve taupey grey shade over here and go get a little bit tighter into the crease. I love how dusty, mauvey, rosy hues pair well with very light shades of grey. I'm going to be taking a bigger fluffy blending brush like this one from Real Techniques. This is called the Deluxe Crease Brush. There is no product on the brush. It's completely clear of any shadows. So I'm just going to be lightly running the brush over the tops of the crease. I'm going to be going in with a shimmery peachy shade that looks like this I'm going to be taking a small tighter packing brush to really pack on this color such a beautiful color so I'm going to be taking a pointy brush like this one this is 230 Lux pencil brush by Zoeva and I'm going to be taking going back to the grey shade over here and pack it onto the crease Now I'm going to be taking the R33 Basic Shader Brush from Bloom Kit and I'm just going to be lightly diffusing the shadows above like where we placed and then intensify if I need it any further. I'm still at the grey eyeshadow and it did take quite a while to get to this intensity. I took a mixture of the grey colour and this dark purpley almost black but it has a lot of like a sparkle glint in it. Just a hint of it and mixed it with the grey shade. Once doing that, I feel like we were getting somewhere. So now that we have a little bit of smokiness going on, I'm just going to be going with a coat of eyeliner. Three hours later. I do want a little bit of pink for this eye look. I'm going to be taking this NYX blush and this is the shade Pinch. Next step is to line my upper and lower waterline with a black coal kajal pencil. I do want to keep this eye look very sultry. A couple of more steps to finish this eye look and I'm going to be going in with a few coats of mascara and this is the Essence Get Big Lashes and this is the Volume Curl Mascara. I love this and this is by far one of the best. I used to like the Princess Lash Mascara. It's also from Essence. So I'm going to be using this onto the main areas of my lip and to line my lips, I'm going to be using the MAC Lip Liner in Absolutely Lit. I love the colour. This MAC Lip Liner and this shade kind of marries very well together. 
If you're someone who's not really into matte looking lips, then definitely go for a gloss. Another gloss that I've been recently have been loving since the time I got is the Tatia's Lip Paint and this is called Tinsel and you just need to add the tiniest bit onto the middle of your lips and it just gives you that very healthy, almost goddess-like Victoria's Secret type of lovely glowiness. I'm going to be taking the one that has a very uh, soft rose gold hue to it which is this shade over here and then just lightly pop it onto my inner corners Woo! Oh, that's, that's intense I'll just take the lighter pink onto my cubit's bow hmm. Even this is good And this is the final look guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this soft romantic look that I put together for this year's Valentine's Day. If you did enjoy watching this video, then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is just click on the subscribe button down here. There'll be a bell icon next to it. Make sure that you click on it just so that you join my small growing family on the internet. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!